Chapter 132 of Undead Unluck changed everything. Staring despair straight in its eyes, a group of negators from across the globe were able to band together in order to hold off Ragnarok, this onslaught of fire gods or umas or whatever it may be, in order to preserve humanity's last hope. Izumo Fuko, as she was transported forward to this next loop, as we have been enjoying for the past 20 plus chapters. Give a round of applause to Yoshi Fumi Gotsuka. He's been killing it, dog. I've really been enjoying this second loop, but upon reflection, I do have one just thought. It's not even a grievance, it's not an issue at all, but I just have to say, I miss Andy. Yo, but before I tell you why I miss Andy, Yoshifumi had a quick message he wants you to hear. It don't cost nothing to show it. Mm. I mean, mm. Hey, he said it. It wasn't me. It doesn't cost anything to show some love. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new here. My name is Darzus. This is the D Trope. We make Undead Unluck Kaiju number eight content. Let's get into it. So, dog, as I mentioned, I have no grievances with the way the second loop has been going. The direction Yoshifumi has taken since chapter 132 has been amazing. The way he's fleshed out a lot of characters who didn't get their time to shine in the past loop was just dope. And the way he's developed this way of developing characters in such a short amount of time and taking the kind of tropic nature of who they are and really developing a true character around it, such as the instance with Sean, like the fact that he was such a background character that that's literally who he is, an actor who grew up in that sort of situation where he was trying to live up to his pops or be better than his pops, but he's still unseen. Crazy stuff. Void Volks, the guy who just always wanted to not be avoided, the one who was just looked at as this decrepit little street urchin, hated by all. All he could do was show people his fist, the only way he could be seen, envelops unavoidable? Are you alright, Colonel? Yeah, I'm fine. Except, it's a terrible day for rain. What do you mean? It's not raining. Yes, it is. God dang, and not even to mention, dude, Billy, Tella, the fights, everything that Yoshifumi's been doing in the crafting in the second loop. Sprinkle a little seasoning on the salad, like some fire and denim luck content. I've really been enjoying every little bit of it. Nonetheless, though, nonetheless, where is my boy? Where is Andy? Because we don't have any insight into what he is up to, and I say that, I'm lying. All we know is that he's up right now looking for artifacts, fighting the fight. We saw him riding a camel or something. <laughs> like, what is he really doing though? He left Fuku a message which stated, I do for you, you do for me, we do for the union. Can you do it, partner? And obviously Fuku responds, Roger, and she's been getting it done. Like I had mentioned, power girl, super woman, all of these Zumo's freaking developments this loop have been unbelievable. From just her physical prowess to the way her unluck can just do anything. She's got those bad little bullets now. She can just flip a freaking whole UFO. She's able to do whatever she wants. It's amazing. I'm really beginning to understand why she's the beacon of hope. How she can be this crazy dope leader for the union. The one we need. And I know that really what Yoshifumi is doing is by taking out one of the main characters, you give a lot of other people room to shine because Andy takes up a lot of space, y'all. We know that Andy shines like the sun whenever he is a uh, part of this manga, but I still just miss him, bro. I miss Andy so freaking much. <laughs> Don't you we just need a little bit of undead donne in our life? Or what if even on some filler content side story stuff, we just got a little arc of Andy on his own. I would love to see that. Maybe that's what we could get. Because one thing that I've been seeing recently, and it's not even a grievance, I think a lot of people, such as myself and the rest of us fans, are thoroughly enjoying all this character development driven uh, plot that we've been getting throughout this second loop. But a lot of people have been saying, it would be nice to slow down for a second. We've been intaking a lot of information, even if you go read those previous 20 chapters, it's like, holy crap. We just got so much undead unluck lore, so like it would be cool to slow down. And I think one fun way to slow down could be potentially after this little space arc that we're currently in, seeing what our boy Andy's up to. I would love it. I would love it more than anything. I want to see how strong Andy is, because like me and my brother were talking. Andy had developed to this point where him and Victor were kind of 
all right knowing that they both were housed and vesseled within the same body and he also doesn't have the remember artifact how uh stuck in his head anymore so like the two souls or the two entities which are undead's soul but like andy and victor they're both like out on the front now so like andy's got all the combat prowess he's got everything like he's just got to be the most hard-boiled individual i just really want to see him this video is just a rant i you know that you noticed by now but shit that's all i wanted to say i miss andy i miss andy dog <laughs> No, I'll see you fools. This is some random content. I told you, I tried to post some more on dead. You got it.